welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. This video is about how my young elderberry successfully survived its first winter in record breaking cold temperatures. In May, I purchased my, elder, my uh, lemony lace elderberry. And in this photo, you can see where I put it in the ground. The first year of an elderberry's life is the most critical for its long-term health and viability. To ensure my young lemony lace elderberry shrub survived the first year, it requires some preparation. It is now November. And you can see that the elderberry is now deciduous. It has uh, sh uh, shed its leaves and it's going into the dormant phase and getting ready for winter. Because the first year elderberries are shallow rooted plants, I took care to add aged wood chips to keep it well mulched. Organic mulch will break down into the soil and it also makes an insulating blanket over the soil surface. This insulates and protects the roots from winter extreme temperatures and buffers and protects the roots from the freezing thawing cycle. So I built up aged wool chips around the base of the elderberry shrub to provide insulation and to ensure that whatever winter extremes, thawing and freezing of the soil that would occur during the winter month that the elder, my elderberry shrub roots will stay insulated. You will also realize that I have put a frame over and around the shrub. This was to ensure that I can keep the branches from breakage under the weight of the snow. This is a short elderberry shrub right now and some of the soil excuse me some of the snow pile up or some of the snow drifts can get way uh, taller than this elderberry shrub so hopefully this frame that I put around my young elderberry shrub will um, prevent the branches from breaking around from the weight of the snow. It's February of 2021 and Colorado is experiencing an Arctic blast. And it's now time for me to really step up my game and get my elderberry shrub protected. Therefore, I am double wrapping my elderberry shrub with frost blankets. I am using a commercial frost blanket that I've wrapped around once. And then I'm also doubling up with a standard frost blanket, which I wrapped around real tight. You can see now we are going to be dipping down into temperatures below zero. And I'm very concerned if I'm going to be able to keep my elderberry shrub well insulated from these very low temperatures. We're breaking records right now. And my elderberry shrub is nine months old. And I'm doing everything in my power to try to keep this elderberry shrub alive during the winter months, during these extreme winter months, record-breaking temperatures, which we haven't seen in a while in the previous years. As you can see, we have received considerably a lot of snow. And my young Limity Lace elderberry shrub is buried under four feet of snow. It is now March of 2021. A lot of the snow has melted, but I decided to keep my elderberry shrub double wrapped in the commercial frost blankets because now we're gonna get another snow event. Here we go again. This time, Denver snowstorm is gonna become the fourth largest on record. We're gonna have blizzard warnings in effect as the biggest snowstorm in 15 years hits Denver at 27.1 inches. Am I worried about my elderberry shrub? You better believe it. It is going to be buried, but I think it's gonna be okay because I kept the elderberry shrub pretty much wrapped with the double insulated frost blankets 
for the remaining of the months just to ensure that I keep it insulated and the fluctuating of extreme winter, winter temperatures will not impact my elderberry shrub. It's April of 2021 and it's now time to unveil my Lemony Lace elderberry shrub to see how it fared during the extreme record-breaking Arctic blast temperatures. So I am taking the first frost blanket off right now and this is the standard frost blanket and I'm going to untie it right now. Okay, so the first frost blanket is off and now I'm gonna take the second frost blanket off so you can see how it was double wrapped. And voila, my elderberry shrub is looking good. You can see where I have the wood chips pretty much mounted around the base of the shrub. And the limbs are looking good. There's some budding coming up. The budding is coming out. It looks healthy. There's no breakage on the branches. So the frame did work. It did help out. So I'm really impressed with the outcome. It's May of 2021 and my young Lemony Lace elderberry shrub is now one years old. And look at it. It actually survived its first extreme winter. And it's looking healthy. It's leafed out beautifully. And I'm really, really impressed with the outcome. I do believe that the time and energy and the monitoring of my elderberry shrub during its first winter, all of the preparation was necessary to ensure that my elderberry shrub survived the first year. Typically, shrubs, if they're not well cared for during the first winter months and considering elderberry shrubs has shallow roots, during its first years, you can lose your shrub. And this shrub was not cheap when I purchased it. And now it's June and look how my shrub has tripled in size. So I'm really happy with the outcome of my Lemony Lace elderberry shrub surviving the worst winter Colorado had on record and coming out of this uh, cold, this the, the, the extreme cold weather, the harsh winter, and looking good and entering into a second year. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button. And I'd love to see, hear your comments below.